Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Asus FX series laptop. This one is an FX 55 3V model and in this video we're gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can add, remove or upgrade the RAM on your laptop. This laptop we have upgraded to a maximum of 16 gig RAM, 2 8 gigs you can place in here. Sometimes in a window, depending on the window that you have, you go to the task manager, it says one out of four slot available, but there's only two slot available on this motherboard. I don't know why Windows doesn't coordinate with the manufacturing to be able to detect the exactly RAM slot available in here. All right, I made a very short video to check your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop or PC. Check that link in the video description in case you want to know what, how much RAM you can put based on your CPU model in here. But this one can go up to 16 gig and that's what we're going to do today. So first we're going to go to the BIOS to double check the RAM capacity that we have in here. So this one is pretty dirty screen, so let me clean up this one. All right, so we're going to power on and we're going to click F2 or F2. I think it's F2, but I'm going to just tap on both until I get to the BIOS menu. Inside the BIOS, it says right in here, 8 gig RAM, 8,192 8, megabytes. So we're going to bump that to... Uh, was called uh, 16 gig. So we're gonna power off and we're gonna go over the tools that I'll be using. Tool number one is a good screwdriver set. I recommend you guys the Arctic screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. So you're gonna use a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and tweezers. If not, grab yourself an opening tools. Uh, grab yourself a guitar pick, I mean. And guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With these two on hand, we're going to open up. On the bottom, there's a little rubber cover in here. We're going to lift up this rubber cover by punching through that and lifting it up. There's a tiny adhesive. Remove the tiny screw that is not a long screw, pretty much, underneath. All right, leave that to one side. Now we're going to remove the rest of the screw all over the laptop. All these screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Just go ahead and remove them and keep them in a one pile. All right, once you remove all the screws, so, uh, let's disconnect the charger. Now what you want to do, you want to put the opening tool between the bottom cover and the palm rest, just like that. And then you just want to twist it. You want to hit those click sounds so that the clips are getting loose. You want to do that all around in the front end. Go to the corners by the DVD drive right there. And what I do here, once I got this side open up, I'll put my thumb on the DVD and with my finger here, I'll just lift it up like that. Once you lift up this side, bring your hands across, wiggle it around, and it will release the bottom cover. All right. Down here, the RAM is right underneath here. To remove the RAM, you do not need to disconnect the battery, but if you want to disconnect the battery, pull this jack backward straight, but absolutely you don't need to, as long as you power off completely. It is kind of dusty. All right. I'm gonna remove this adhesive for now, so you guys can see you don't need to remove this one, but I'm doing it for the video. We can see there's an 8 gig RAM in here, and the second slot them is right on top. To remove the RAM, simply what you want to do, you want to put your fingers on the side view on these jacks and you want to pull them away from each other and the RAM will pop out at 45 degree angle. Then what you want to do, you want to grab it and push it, pull it back in 45 degree angle, don't yank it up and you can remove it. And if you get a new, I mean, did I say battery or say RAM? You pull the RAM straight back up. Make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the dim. So if I try to put it the other way around inside here, it will not go through because the notches are not matching. So always bring it down in 45 degree angle inside the jack, push it inside the jack straight, and then you wanna push it towards the motherboard and you're gonna see these two triggers open and close like that. And that's how you know the RAM is in place. So I'm gonna grab another four eight gig DDR4 and I will bring it in the, doesn't matter what orientation the stickers, everything is. The notch matches, push it right in there and towards the motherboard and they will automatically open and close. I'll just do this with my finger to make sure the locks are in place. Once you have it in place, 
if you have removed this plastic thingy on top just put it back on all you want to do is to put the bottom cover on not necessarily you need to put the screws in as long as you put the back two screws in the corner you can open up the laptop without no problem and check if your ramps are working so i'm going to put these two screws and then i'm going to power on go to the bios check the ram and then come back here and uh, screw up the rest of the, the screw so we're going to power on the laptop so i don't know if you guys see it because i was zoomed in so what i did i put it on top of the case i pushed it down make sure you hear the click sound and then put the screw in here and the screw right in here so you don't need to put the rest of the screws so let's turn it on and we're going to tap f2 or f1 just tap on both of them it might take a little longer because you might want to do a ram check it's called a main check so i'll keep tapping on that wait five to ten seconds So in this case, the RAM is not booting up, so I waited 5 to 10 seconds and I don't see any boot coming up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to power off, I'm going to remove it, I'm going to try different RAM, or we're going to switch the places for the RAMs. So, to power off, hold on the power button for 5 to 10 seconds, and it will shut down. So, I'm really glad that this happened, so you guys can see, in case if they, you don't get a boot, what you should do. Not necessary, you need to put the bottom power on. It's not that necessary, but let's remove this RAM. Okay, so I'm gonna try first different RAM. Maybe I have a defective RAM. So I have a whole bunch of them in here. So I have another RAM here, another 8 gig. This one is a Kingston 40. So I'm gonna push that one in. And I'm gonna just keep it like this. I'm gonna power it on. The battery is not connected. It is turning on, so let's wait a few seconds. As soon as I see a logo, I'm just gonna tap on F2, F1. Now booting up, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna power it off. I am gonna try removing it. Again, we're gonna power it on to see if it does power on. Again, without the RAM, just double check that. Put a new 8 gig right on the first slot because I think like the main RAM is kind of sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work. There we go. So there was something wrong with the RAM. So I'm guessing there's another 8 gig I put in there. So I removed the main one. It was booting sometimes. Like before the video, I tried to boot that again. It worked and it didn't work. So now I'm going to power off and I'm going to put this old RAM on the second slot right on the top and pretty much I switch the places and we are going to power on we're going to tap F1, F2 so I wait for the boot screen probably Definitely something is wrong with the second first initial RAM. No, actually there we go. So let's go to the boot. And there we have now we have a 16 gig RAM in here. So now I'm glad that this happened so you guys get to see it so you don't panic. So pretty much what I did, I just switched the places. You just have to play around with them, put the old one in, the new one on the bottom, try the just the new one and 
do a few tries and it will boot up with no problem. All right, so the fan is spinning and we got a screen. So we're gonna shut it down and we are gonna install the bottom cover. So there was no need for the other one. So grab the bottom cover, bring it over, push down the corners, make sure you hear those nice click sounds, and put the rest of the screws on the bottom cover and the one on the middle one. Again, I hope you guys like this video and I help you guys out to upgrade your RAM for your Asus FX Series laptop. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.